feel like my hair changes 11,000 times like every two weeks. It's crazy. Anyway, hi guys. Um, I missed you. Virtual hug. I'm sick by the way. I don't know if you can tell, but my voice is a little shaky. That's because I can't breathe out of my nose. <laughs> I think the last video I posted on YouTube where I talked to you guys was a vlog where I would be vlogging my life in Madrid. I love that video. I think I posted it in September. And to be really honest with you guys, a lot of shit has happened to me since. It's crazy because I look at myself back in, back in that video in September and I look at myself now and I just like go, yo, what the fuck happened to you? My life just like went, you know? And I wanted to share some learnings with you guys and some random thoughts. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna be entertaining. I don't know if this is gonna be interesting, but I wanted to share these with you guys and I wanted you to know what's going on. And, and I felt I felt it in my heart. You know, sometimes I can't do YouTube or I can't do social media if I'm not at 100% myself. And I wasn't even like at a 20. I was like low, low on the, I was on the negatives the past eight months. So it's really difficult for me to just be on here and create, oh God, I'm so sick. And just connect with you guys. And I didn't want to, you know, um, show a version that I, that I really wasn't proud of. And I feel like now I'm really proud of myself and I adore myself and I have a really, really good relationship with myself. So anyway, perfect time to do this. I feel like I'm slowly beginning to be myself again. I know that like my looks and shit, like they change every like two weeks a thousand times, but that's just cause I'm dealing with this haircut. And, um, and I'm also kind of like finding myself, I think in terms of um, looks. Um, and I'm, that's also something I want to talk about, like self-esteem and looks and how my haircut has affected me and like all that stuff. I feel like the past eight months were just like extremely life-changing for me in many, many ways. I want to go straight to the point. What happened seven months ago, eight months ago? So two very big things happened in my life back in October. And sadly and weirdly, they happened simultaneously. One of them being heartbreak and the other one being um, illness. Lucky me, <laughs> blessed. So anyway, I had to go through both of these things at the same time and and I found that process extremely difficult because um, 100% just like fucking destroyed the hell out of me, <laughs> physically and emotionally. First page, chapter one. I wanna talk about my illness first. I was diagnosed with um, ulcerative colitis in like august september i started feeling really sick in my stomach and in october it's like when it got worse and i was like losing a bunch of weight and i was like bleeding when i went to the bathroom and my stomach was always really painful like it hurt a lot and i was always really swollen and i'm celiac so i thought maybe it had to do with like being celiac or maybe it had to do with being a little sad and stuff like that but um i went to the doctors and i did a bunch of tests i don't know if i have the right english to explain this but um basically you have a lot of bowel movements and when you go to the bathroom you bleed and it really hurts and the point is you have little ulcers in your colon they come up in flares and i was going through a really big flare in october and november and so when they diagnosed that i would receive treatment and uh, I don't know if you can hear that. There's construction right next to me. Perfect, ideal. And it got to the point where it was kind of scary and like mentally weird because I could feel that I wasn't okay. And not only I could be like, oh, I feel sick or whatever. It's like, I was like seeing blood in the toilet, which is like very not nice to talk about on here, but it's the truth. It was awful. It was really painful. And now I'm like on treatment and everything's like a lot better. I started feeling a lot better about two months ago i mean it's something a lot of people have and it's just like a really annoying illness to have because it's difficult to understand it so that that whole process was really difficult and if you guys want me to do a video about talking about ulcerative colitis i can try and do that um but i'm not sure i have the right like the good enough english to actually speak about all of this but so that happened on one hand and on the other hand i went through um heartbreak and that sucked and you guys probably know and it's um i don't want to go too deep into it like you know i won't because i i've never gone too deep into it i well 
You know, everyone says things happen for a reason. I used to believe, I used to be like, fuck off. Like, don't tell me that right now. Like, you know, like, you know when you go through, through something really bad and everyone's like, Virgo, everything happens for a reason, trust me, you'll know. And it's like, I don't want to hear that right now because I don't, I'm clearly not seeing the reason. Like, I'm not seeing the, I'm not seeing the result. Say something different to me, lie to me, tell me what I want to hear instead of telling me like, it all happens for a reason. The truth is now that shit went down and I've quite literally been through rebirth. It's like I'm a different Pokemon, you know? I'm the next one. That's how it feels, you know? Like I was, a, I was on Pokemon level one, then I just like went on the next level of it. I survived. I don't know how else to put it. So I think that just made me, made me take a step back. And then I actually feel like I ended up taking like 20 steps back. And then I took 21 steps forward. And like, here I am, I am, I, I'm a step, a little step forward in my life. Um, but it definitely took this whole process of just like, all right, girl, going back to the basics. And that's what I feel like my life has, what I feel like I've been through is like, I really went low, like rock bottom low. And I've been low in my life. I've had periods. I feel like every time you're, you know, low, you're like, oh my God, this is the, I've hit rock bottom, you know? But like, no, for real, I hit rock bottom this year. I'm sure I'm gonna hit rock bottom again at some point, but as of right now, that was the rock bottom of my life. Like now that I look back, it was poetry, catharsis. It was, um, I was alive. I was being human. I am such a sensitive soul and I'm so <laughs> tender and gentle and like I can break easily. And like, I'm not sure why life wanted to punish me <laughs> like that but i'm sure there was a reason maybe there's like some karma there or something i have no fucking clue but i really went through hell and so yeah i learned a lot i really did i look back and it was beautiful and i'm so proud of myself to be in one piece <laughs> hey because some days i got a little scared and i want to i'm gonna get emotional right now because uh, I don't wanna cry in this. No, we're not crying in this video, Virgo. This is a happy video. Shit, I'm gonna cry in a second. Sometimes it's better to just let it out. <sighs> Fuck. Maybe I'm gonna get my period. That's why I'm like emotional. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm gonna say something important. That's why I'm crying, because it has a lot of weight and meaning for me. And I wanted to say, I wanted to say, I was lucky I had amazing friends that helped me and you guys know which ones you are and I'm really grateful. The thing is I, I, I really didn't, <clears throat> I didn't want this video to be like this, but I guess to talk about it, I have to go through this cause like, like you can't avoid it, you know? Anyway, oh fuck. So what I'm trying to say is that I reached a point, like I know I was laughing earlier, but I really reached a point where I was like not doing well. And a lot of things was were happening and I was making a lot of bad decisions and I was just got myself involved in like a really bad um cycle. And I'm just I wanted to say that I'm really grateful that I have amazing, amazing friends that genuinely saved my life. So thank you. Um and I have amazing family members. God, that sucked. Like I would never go back to what I've been through, but I'm so happy I went through it because I've learned so much. And I did something that I had never done before and that was to um, seek help. And I did that without being ashamed. And I did it with a real intention to get helped because I got to a point where I wasn't able to help myself. Yeah, so also that is one of the reasons why when I left um, on a trip and I didn't come back for two months and I kind of just like stopped posting on TikTok and I My social media just all of a sudden felt a little different and all that stuff and I stopped working Um, that was one of the reasons. Okay, let me just get all of this out because that was a lot <sighs> Okay, but anyway now that I mentioned that I didn't want to show myself and all that stuff. I want to go into um, I want to talk a little bit about image and self-esteem and like my journey when it comes to that, because because like I used to look like this, well my hair looks to be look like this, and then all of a sudden one day I wanted to change, 
because I've been with this hair my entire life. And all of a sudden I started to look like this. And then I look like this. And then I look like this. And then I look like this. And then like this and like this. And it just has been a crazy journey of hair looks of different looks i don't know if this happened for people certain people like don't care but in my case i cut my hair because i wanted to and i kind of was like having fun with it but two things happened to me in that process and the first one was that i didn't recognize myself in the mirror for months like i'd look at myself in the mirror and i'd be like who the fuck is this chick you know what i mean and that's kind of weird and odd because you'll get ready or like you'll get you'll put clothes on and then it was like i didn't really know how to dress or like who i was and like i kind of lost my identity for a little bit and that's normal because it was such a big change after years of looking the same and also what happened next though which was also linked to the fact i was on, that i was unhealthy and unhappy is the fact that i um didn't like myself like i didn't like what i was look who i was looking at just aesthetically you know like not internally but i went through a period where i was just like who i don't like who i'm seeing in the mirror like i don't i don't know i'm not connecting with this image i'm not i don't find i didn't feel sexy and i didn't feel attractive and i didn't feel pretty and i don't say that in a self-loathing way but i generally just like felt like I didn't know the person in front of the mirror and I just wasn't vibing, you know? Sometimes you're, you're just like, know how to handle your hair and like, you know, you know how to do stuff. Like right now my hair is longer and I like know what to do with it and all that stuff. At that time, I was just kind of like, like people will kind of be like, oh yeah, Virgo, like your hair looks different, like new hairstyle. But I, you know, got a ton of comments of like really bad ones and really good ones. And most of the people were really upset I cut my hair and other people were like, you look amazing and all that stuff. But in the middle there was me and I was like, I don't know who I am. I don't know what I look like and I'm not sure I'm fucking with this. And that lasted so long. And it got to the point where I just, stopped looking at myself in the mirror because i didn't want to do that <laughs> because hair doesn't grow that fast so i just had to wait i guess it just takes time but like for the first four or five months i was freaking out and that's not normal if you're freaking out because you just change your hairstyle and your looks hey i'm with you there it's okay chill like it'll it'll pass um the way people perceive you is definitely so much different than the way you perceive yourself anyway so that i kind of just like stopped looking at myself in the mirror <laughs> that was an amazing experience also i stopped doing that thing where i was like this all the time do you guys remember that so anyway i kind of like stopped looking at myself in the mirror obviously i looked at myself in the mirror every day because i you know you do your skincare routine and stuff but i'm saying it as it as a concept like i stopped paying attention to my looks for a solid few months and um I gained so much out of that and it wasn't like an intentional thing it's just something I'm now realizing like oh shit that had an impact in my life because I wasn't trying to impress anybody and I wasn't really I also wasn't in the mood to impress anybody or connect with anybody but also I just like didn't feel the confidence to flirt with anybody or I didn't feel the confidence to um I didn't feel sexy right you know so I just really stopped paying attention to that um that just led me to really focus on myself like in my personality and my interests and the way i would talk to people the way i would listen to people the way i treat people um it just had a huge massive impact in myself personally and i say this in a very honest way and i think we all go through this but i think i just how can i explain this i kind of just feel like i went through <laughs> so because i got sort of my looks and self-esteem destroyed and um, t I need a tissue. Anyway, um, my nose is so runny. You know, I went through like a lot of rejection and negle neglect. I went through a lot of this. I feel like my ego, which was this, got like, I just think that Virgo's ego is just like thrown into lava and like destroyed and punished and just sort of made like this small. Because obviously, like, the, you go and you pick it back up eight months later. And, like, I think it's been, like, the biggest blessing of my life. Because I feel like I am a kinder person, way more tender, a lot more fun, a lot cooler. Like, I feel like I'm just, like, a, 
a better human and a lot i was loving but i'm like a lot more loving and i'm more loving with myself and i'm a lot kinder with myself and i know myself so much and i want to get into that too but i talk to myself so much so much gentler and um, i'm a better listener and i'm just like i don't know man i just went through rebirth and it's really really all good things long story short i think i just experienced the death of the ego and i think we experienced that death multiple times in your life and i think i just did and it's been so fucking humbling and amazing i think i'm just like a better version of myself seriously though i spent so much time alone in the past five months like i've really really have been like i'm talking about just like really not being able to escape your thoughts type of hanging out alone uh just imagine like a deserted island for a month and it's just you that's it no one else is there that type of alone so um i really have spent so much fucking time alone that i think that um i'm going crazy <laughs> i think i've gone crazy i actually catch myself speaking to myself a lot i'm speaking to myself right now well hopefully you know this is different this is different so anyway i spent so much time alone just imagine like because you i traveled alone I went to Australia, I went to Canada, I went to LA and although I was meeting people and I was, you know, working in Canada, I was like filming a short film in LA, I was visiting friends and, and like just people I love and uh, in Australia, I was kind of like on a solo trip, but I met so many people and so many great friends. Um, so I wasn't like technically always alone, but when you do those kind of travels, you do spend a lot of time alone. For instance, I mean, I took like 15 hour flights and then in some of them I just didn't have battery or I wasn't listening to music and you're just like sit down with your thoughts or maybe you're like in a city you've never been before and you're by yourself and you're taking a walk and you really have no company and you just hang out with yourself you know but just imagine that in the span of like two months days are a lot longer than I thought they were when you really are doing nothing because <laughs> I wasn't doing anything I wasn't working I wasn't on my phone I wasn't distracted I was just like like present wherever I was I was just like there so imagine the activity of my brain when I was like on my own during all that time and so at the beginning you know there's a stage where you just like process like the little superficial level of thoughts that you can have which is like whatever's going on in your life right now and like um what you did last week and like next week and like today and like you know recent problems or recent like things that went on whatever but like i exhausted that little that part of thoughts because i already went through them that i all of a sudden opened a different um cupboard is that how you call it i don't know i opened a different cupboard of, of thoughts that I think were like in the back of my head, really pushed back by myself where I didn't want to go. And let me tell you something, those thoughts are not bright. <laughs> they're dark and they're in the back for a fucking reason. And I was by myself for so long that I reached that cupboard and I reached down there and I all I could do was process them and think them and analyze them. And I just like had to go through that process because I didn't know how else to really cope. Like I would distract, this is such a weird topic and I don't even know if anyone's gonna fucking relate with me. But I went through that, that phase where oh my God, this water bottle, no. <clears throat> I went through that phase where I really analyzed and processed a lot of stuff about my life and myself um, and things that happened to me in my life. I got serious all of a sudden. Oh, but for real, I did. And it's like, that sometimes we push things to the back because we don't want to talk about them because they're really hard or we just don't like them or we try to avoid them you know or they happened a long time ago and we don't really realize that they have an impact in your life and um anyway um it was a very interesting and difficult time you know i experienced a lot of sadness and i cried a lot and i experienced a lot of guilt and i experienced a lot of just um frustration and i was afraid and you know whatever like there was times where I was like sleeping at a hostel and I'd be like on my own in a fucking bunk bed looking at the ceiling and I would be going through all these thoughts, you know, things like that or like at the beach or I don't know. I had so much free time in my hands, I swear. Even though I hung out with people and like did things and distracted myself and meditated, like all that stuff. I think I 
anytime I wasn't doing any of that, I reached these moments where I would just connect with my brain and I would just like go through all of this. I wish I wasn't sick. I probably sound really weird. <laughs> Like my voice probably sounds like super weird and like with that experience i think i'm not even wearing i'm not even wearing jewelry i feel naked i'm wearing earrings though they're really pretty but i'm not really wearing rings i feel naked i don't feel like a real lesbian anyway i don't have them near me um so don't look at my hands um i think i'm also grateful for that experience because it was awful to go through and it was also one of the reasons why it took me so long to go back to Spain. It's because I was like actually going through a huge personal process of just like healing and growing and stuff like that. And um, it's crazy because I feel like I just like, because I went through all that stuff, the only way you can like clean yourself and heal and like, you know, really fucking filter your, your soul and your heart and your body is by actually taking all of the shit out and all the mud that is inside of you and like filtering it out and processing it and understanding it and forgiving yourself, which is really important. And I went through that process, which was awful. <laughs> I wanna, I don't wanna go through it again, but um, I did. And now I just like feel honestly a lot more at peace with myself. <sighs> and I say that taking a deep breath. I don't know, I just went on a huge tangent, but all of this is true. And anyway, the past eight months were crazy and they were just like, <laughs> well, they were mostly like, <laughs> but um, yeah, roller coaster. And you know, healing isn't linear and whether it's heartbreak that you're healing or an illness or whatever it is, a loss, grief, it's not linear and it's a crazy process and it means you're human and you're alive. And that's something you should be grateful for. Or that i'm grateful for at least that was a lot <laughs> i don't even know i just blacked out i don't even know what i said maybe this video is going to be too long huh i'm sorry anyway if you reached this part of the video i love you and i i have missed you guys i love you guys and i hope you guys are doing well and i hope that this can help and anyway i'm not sure how but i will be making more videos that is a promise. Now you know why my promises were broken last time because I really wasn't able to make them. I love you and I want to cut this video because it's too long and I'll make a different one. Dale, besos, bye.